Source control for databases. This argument and this problem, the fact that there's not a great, you know, it's a magic way to do it, um, has been going on for decades, as long as I've been a DBA, which is a really long time. Um, store procedure, individual code, sure. Stick it in, you know, visual source safe if you're old, GitHub if you're new. Um, there's all kinds of third party tools, but what if there were something where you could just clone the database as a, a collection of objects without the data and just stick that somewhere? You know, make that be one database, one file, one backup, something simpler, easier, and built in. Uh, and there is. Spoiler alert, that's the whole point of the video. Um, I had a I have a lot of clients that have no proper test and dev environment. They've got a prod box. That's all they can afford. Don't judge them. Don't judge me. Uh, one of them came to me and said, Kevin, I accidentally overwrote a store procedure that's, you know, I, I hit save or create or alter when I shouldn't have, and I don't know what to do. Can you get it back for me? My answer was, sure, I'll restore the eight terabyte database and pull that one object out for you. And it'll take a couple of days while we put the hardware together or a VM in Azure or whatever. That's a whole lot of work for what should have been 30 seconds worth of grab it. So enough of the intro, because some of you won't watch past the intro. Let's go straight over to Single Server Management Studio Preview version 21. By the time you watch this, it may be released. I don't know. Dark mode. Dark mode. I love it because my eyes are old and they don't like bright white screens anymore. Uh, DBCC clone database. There's some version issues here. You probably need to be patched, I think 2014 and above, if you've patched with the right service packs and CUs and whatnot, you get to this, otherwise you get some really bizarre errors. Uh, I'm using the Stack Overflow database here. Let's see if I can actually make a box on the screen because I'm learning how to use Zoom and finally, hey look, there it is, cool. Um, there's multiple ways you can run this. If you run it just by itself, you're gonna get all the objects, the schema, the tables, the functions, store procedures, views, all the things that aren't data. It's going to create an exact copy of your database with all the user tables empty, which is awesome. Stack Overflow database is, is a big mamma jamma. He's, he's pretty huge. I think I've got the biggest one out there. It's, this one's close to 200 gigs, so it may not quite be the biggest one, but great for doing something like this because uh, there's a link here at the top. I'll put this and a bunch of other cool links in the video that you should probably click on because I said so. Uh, but if you want query store and you want statistics as they sit right now, the use case for that is if you're, say, opening a ticket with Microsoft about a performance problem, you can send them that and they can look at stats. They can look at you know query execution history without having to dig straight, straight into your system. How much they can get, I don't know. I don't call Microsoft for help but about once every three years. Um, if you don't have query store, on, query store turned on, or you do actually, but you don't want the stats, you just want the query execution, you use the second one here. If you just want the code, if you just want something, and this is the case I was talking about, where you could go over and get that stored procedure from as it existed the last time you did a clone, great. Um, and there's a verify option, and, and you can back up the clone you just made. And if you're going to use this, do a little bit of work, create a job that can just go and create these clones and back them up and then into your backup folder. So you'll always have them ready to go. The cool thing about these is these pop up um, as, as read only when they're done. So I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna highlight all three of these. My, my source for all of them is the Stack Overflow database. And then I've got, and it comes, you know, the, the default generic naming is your database underscore clone. I put under here query store and stats, just query store and then just clone just to, so I would know which three I had for purposes of this demo. Execute that, wait a little bit of time. It's not too bad because it's not making copies of 200 gigs of data. Hey, look, it's done. Refresh the database list and there you go, there they are. So in my case, I didn't check to see if I actually had some store procedures and things in here, but let's have a look. If I had needed to get, and this is one of Brent Ozar's queries that he does for his mastering query tuning classes, I believe, which you should go to because they're awesome. Uh, go, go pay him money for great training if you like his style. But this is the clone one. If I, want, if I needed to, I could just go here 
and go, hey, look, copy, paste, create, alter on the actual production system that it came from without having to restore the data. It's a beautiful way to do things. Um, and again, it's SQL Server 2016. This was a 2016 RTM instance this morning. Now it's patched up to Service Pack 3. That made this work and the errors went away. So really simple way. And then you can decide what you do with these. You could just leave them sitting there and refresh them from time to time, you know, delete and rerun. Um, back these up so you can have it. Create that backup file. Drop that over into a GitHub or a source safe or whatever you use. I know I'm showing my age. But, you know, it's simple. And it's built in. to standard edition. This is actually div edition. I, I can't swear it's standard edition. I'm real sure it is, though. So if you have questions, hit me up in the comments. I check that pretty... <laughs> I check those somewhat frequently, but I, I enjoy chatting with people uh, in the comments about you know things that I forgot to cover because there's always something I forgot to cover. So that's it, DBCC clone database. If you get an error, it's probably a patching issue, but go throw it into Google. You'll wind up on a Stack Overflow page somewhere or Stack Exchange somewhere. Thanks.